Hi, it's Christy, and I'm here with another box for Operation Christmas Child. This one's for a boy, age 10 to 14, and it has a soccer ball. My goal is, in making these videos, is to help you make more and better boxes. I would love to see a big increase this year since there was a shortage last year of Operation Christmas Child boxes. I heard Franklin Graham in, in the, least, the last video that I watched say, we can always use more shoe boxes. We never have enough to meet the need. So it just inspires me more when I hear things like that to make better boxes and more boxes myself and so i hope i can pass that enthusiasm on to you so like and subscribe because then more people will get uh this video recommended to them through the youtube algorithm and hopefully we can spread the word together to make more and better shoe boxes so here's my list on top i checked off my essentials you can get a list like this for a boy or a girl in all the age groups. If you want to have one and you don't feel like making up your own, go to blessingsinashoebox.com. There are so many great free resources there. All we ask is that if you make a video that you would share where you got the resources so we can keep the information flooding the Operation Christmas Child family so everybody knows about blessingsinashoebox.com. Now inside my box, I, I did something funny. I Trish from Bird Feed asked me, what would the chances be of this being a useful thing to put a letter on top of your shoe box that says, oh, listen, there aren't any um, forbidden things in this shoe box. You don't have to take everything out. And I have been thinking about that. That was months ago. And I really just got excited about the idea of making um, a note like that. So I made one myself. I was like, oh, I'm gonna do that. And I made one to put it on top of my box. And I, then I told Michelle about it and she said, you're gonna know what she said. <laughs> we can make a printable for that. So this can go on top of your shoe box so that everything doesn't need to be taken out because if there's a full box like this, it takes a lot of time for the people at the processing center to take everything out and put it in. I mean, this took me a long time to get everything in. Um, to my box. So this is Michelle's. I'm sure she's even um, changed it since this was her like prototype list. And I love it because it has our new logo on it. And it says, this Operation Christmas Child shoe box contains no money or checks, no used or damaged items, no war related items, no toothpaste, no gum or candy, no food, seeds or drink mixes, no liquids or lotions, no medications or vitamins, no breakables, and no aerosol cans. Please remove this notice after checking this special OCC box, blessingsinissuebox.com. So if you're interested in having one of these in your box, go ahead and go to blessingsinissuebox.com and just print them out and put them on top of your shoe box like this and hopefully that will be a benefit to the volunteers at the processing center and they won't have to take everything out, especially if it's a very full box like this one is and, and like you make too, I'm sure. This is a placeholder. <laughs> it's changing the subject really quick. I just wanted to, I grabbed this and I thought, oh boy, that's a strange thing to grab at the beginning. You know this is a really nice washcloth, but I'm not sending a washcloth because I have a soap saver but I don't have the underwear yet. It's coming in the mail. So I thought I would put this here as um, a place saver, excuse me, so that when my um, underwear comes in the mail in a couple days, I can just put it in the same spot. So um, that's what this stands for. I don't know if you can use that for, uh, for idea for your shoe boxes or not, but when I don't have an item on my list, sometimes I overpack and then I can't get it in. So that's what the washcloth is. All right, let's pull out the notebook first. This is a red spiral notebook for him to use for school. And since it's a soccer ball theme, I also included these that are available on blessingsinashoebox.com. It's just the um, directions on how to inflate a soccer ball in 14 different languages. Michelle translated that. So um, it's very useful if you are packing a soccer ball in your box. So I have that in his notebook. And then I'll take out the soccer ball. This is the one that I used to demonstrate deflating um, a soccer ball. 
in my video a couple videos ago. It's a Franklin soccer ball and I kind of played off these colors with the blue and then I accented with red and green for this box. I needed a little plush for this box so I chose this elephant and it's got a keychain attachment so he can attach it to his um, backpack and I just think it's very very soft and cuddly. Okay, here's the pump. When you're sending a soccer ball uh, it's a great idea. Really everybody needs to send a pump with it and extra needles because apparently these get lost easily. They're very small. You can imagine if they're um, a child is playing soccer, it'd be easily easy to fall off of their um, uh, pockets, even if they don't, maybe they don't have pockets. Anyway, so send an uh, extra needle. This one has three, but I have more needles on, on order, and those don't take up very much room. So I have, on my note that goes on top of my box, I have what I need um, still to put in there, the underwear and the needles. And I'd like to be able to fit a calculator, but I'm not sure if I'll be able to. Right away, he'll be able to see his lip whistle, which I love. It's a mustache whistle. I was holding it upside down, which I love putting in a box. I have a different whistle in here too, but this one is so much fun. So he'll be able to blow on that right away. And here's a little bandana that matches the soccer ball. And I have some scissors here for him for school or for anything else. Here's his backpack. This backpack is a heavy canvas. Michelle and I found on Amazon when it was first listed. Uh, they came in sets of two for like $5 or something. It was really a, a godsend that we were able to get that great of a deal on these really nice backpacks. And they work out great for the older boys who have bigger items. I think I'm gonna be using them for the older girls too. This is my soap saver. This is a special fleece Michelle used to, uses to make these and it has the arm, the wrist strap. And I have some Dove soap in here. My husband was able to get a whole cartload of Dove soap on sale. He texted me from the store and said, do you want this Dove soap? It's on clearance. So this is the first year I'm using Doves for sensitive skin soap and my soap savers. Um, this is a fun item. Now this is a travel set. I hope you're able to see that of Domino's and they're magnetic. I'll take this rubber band off. It really does close fine, but I didn't want it to accidentally open. So inside, you guessed it, these are instructions to play dominoes in 14 different languages. Michelle just made this new printable because, um, well, a lot of us are including dominoes and kids don't necessarily know how to play, but in uh, the directions are simple, uh, seven steps. It tells you to play the game with two to four Players shuffle the dominoes and that goes out down to step seven. A player wins a round by playing all their dominoes. So simple instructions for including in a shoebox. And here's his comb. I took advantage of the space, the extra space inside of this tin. And I added uh, tweezers and a little wooden cross. I'm gonna put a string also. I hope you see that sometimes I hold things too high across in the um, box. I'm gonna put string in here so he can wear it as a necklace if he wants or just put it in a pocket or in, it, in his um, room or I'm sure he probably doesn't have a room. Have you watched some of the um, shoebox videos and you can see that they have dirt floors in their homes. I mean, these people that we're sending them to, what a blessing and a thrill it is to be able to uh, send them the gift of a shoebox along with the gospel. So uh, Domino's magnetic will need to be punched out and the directions for nail clippers are all in this tin. All right, next we have a pair of socks. We try to include socks and underwear in all of our boxes for children. That's a luxury for them. Our kids might get them in their stocking at Christmas and that's boring to them because they're used to always having underwear and socks, but these children don't. So it's a real um, blessing for them to get it, get socks. This is a four pack of crayons and a snap gate um, from Harbor Freight, 10 foot measuring tape. And I love that it can fit on a belt loop or 
uh, backpack. And here's uh, his flip-flops, which are one of the, I would say this is a well item along with the soccer ball because uh, nice, sturdy, long-lasting flip-flops are also something that they don't get uh, in the countries where they're getting these shoe boxes and I know that they'll appreciate uh, those. And then there's the uh, water bottle. It's packed full of stuff, and I'll get that at the end. This is their school supply pouch with stickers, coloring book with these really nice dinosaur coloring pages. I love this. This is also available on blessingsinashoebox.com. You can print out your own and staple it together. All free resources. We just ask that you tell others where you've gotten your resources so that more people will know. And this is a sketch pad, just blank paper and a construction. I just made a bunch of these when I was watching TV, watching a movie and was able to include then their, all of this blank paper for the children who really paper is a luxury for them. All right, let me show you what's in this water bottle. Matchbox car Jeep. And there's thread. Aha, this is like a kind of an unusual, thicker embroidery floss that they can use for a lot of different things. I looked up a list of a page full of things you can use string for and uh, holding up your plants in your garden is one so hopefully they'll find it useful you could also braid it or he could use it to make um his necklace with his cross if he wants there's i think a five care oh these are called um zip ties <laughs> i don't know why i always forget that so these zip ties i think there's five of them but here's four. Oh, here's the fifth one and this is uh, like a referee's whistle with a string. I love putting those in uh, with the soccer ball box. Super fun. Um, these are, this is a fun eraser, a little koala bear. And here's another matchbox car, blue. That looks like a Porsche. Uh, Jaguar. So this is in tiny, tiny little letters. Jaguar. And there are pencil sharpeners, some shaped pencil sharpeners. It's an airplane and a truck and a round one. Those um, shaped ones are nice and fun to get. They're called cartoon pencil sharpeners if you want to find them on walmart.com or amazon.com. He has six pencils in here. Here's three of them. They're all sharpened. Michelle assured me they are, they have graphite. Um, to write with. They're not going to be poisonous. There's no, uh, you don't have to worry. These are, um, I put them in upright and they're not scratching anything or getting any kind of lead in, in your, you don't have to worry about your child's drinking water, contaminated with lead or anything from those boxes. It's totally safe. Here's your covered or his covered toothbrush. Another pencil sharpener. I wanted to make sure he had plenty of those. Uh, two black pens. They're just, they just have a cap on them. Here's his nail clippers. And his glue stick is in there. This is a pump flashlight. It doesn't require batteries. So um, that Last time I asked you what you would want if it was in a choice in a water bottle between sunglasses and one of these pump flashlights and unanimously everyone said flashlight. You don't have to keep pumping in order for it to go. It just recharges it when it runs out. So that's going in this box and it went in my last box too. Some pencil top erasers are in here and his lip balm. There is a mending kit, which really, um, it seems like a little tiny thing. It's very inexpensive to get these in bulk from Amazon, but really it has a safety pin, two buttons, some thread and a needle. And it's, um, 
really something that can be useful even to extend the use of a, a shirt or um, mend something. It can last extra weeks or extra months just by having this little mending kit. And a big eraser and another pen, multi-pen, a highlighter, and a Sharpie. I love having a Sharpie in the boxes when they have um, a soccer ball. They could also write their name on their backpack. Sharpies are very handy and with all the children getting uh, boxes at the same time, there might be some duplicate items and they can benefit from having the ability to mark what's theirs. All right, we've come to the end of the box. I hope I didn't forget anything I wanted to tell you. Don't forget to go to blessingsinashoebox.com in case you're wanting this to go on top of your shoe boxes. Um, at the processing center, they'll take it out, but it'll be kind of telling them that you're a professional shoe box packer and they don't have to worry about the contents of your box. Thank you again for watching. I hope you'll like and subscribe so, so more people will hear about my channel. And I pray the Lord's blessing on you and all your shoebox packing. Let's say to God be the glory together for all he is doing around the world in all the seven countries that are packing shoeboxes, that he would be glorified. And that as a result of all that we're doing now, the children will hear and receive the gospel when they go to the event, the shoebox event. And to him be the glory because those children can pass it on to their families and their neighbors and eventually a whole village could be saved. We trust him for the results and reaping the harvest. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.